Hello, hello. Well, it's been a while since I've been out. This is uh, the kind of first day since lockdown in Scotland has been lifted slightly. We're still kind of restricted to some extent, but we can travel a bit further, which is great. So I've actually seen we can travel further. I've not come too far. I've just come around the coast, uh, just really just to get out. If you guys, any of you follow me on um, Instagram, you'd have seen I've got myself a new camera, which is uh, it's new to me. It's a, a very old camera. Um, it's a film camera, medium format, the Mamiya uh, 645. Uh, so I've really just just come out to trial this out. It's uh, very different to what I'm used to shooting. Uh, the, the reasoning behind it really is it, it's just to kind of slow things down, think a wee bit more about the, the photographs, think of it differently, look for different kind of compositions, just approach the, the, the photography very differently. I felt with the, the Sony a7 III, fantastic camera as it is, but it's a, a proper workhorse, but you can do anything with it. As long as you frame things up as much as you would like, the information and the way it, it, it takes a picture, there's very little uh, involvement from myself or the photographer, really. Uh, there's some uh, kind of artistic flares you can put on things, obviously apertures, or if you're doing any uh, long exposures, all that kind of stuff. Um, obviously, you've got to be able to control it that way, but really, Point and shoot stuff, you don't have to think about it at all. So I've, I've, I've gone down the route, I've actually gone down the route of two very old cameras. So I've got the Mamiya um, 6 or 5 medium format and I've also borrowed this from my dad, which is a Zenit or Zenith uh, 11. Uh, it's an, a Russian, old Russian camera, 35mm. Uh, so I've brought this along as well. Um, and yeah, just I'm just going to explore. There's a lighthouse just over here. Uh, West Barnes Lighthouse, I believe it's called. I think that's where we are. Um, I'm going to head along to the lighthouse and see compositionally if it's going to work. So I'm going to have a wonder, see what it's like. It might amount to nothing. Very conscious, you can't just shoot away with um, the, the film cameras because it costs money. You've got to get these things uh, processed. I have brought the, the A7 III, so it might be a bit of a a recce um, and see what see what kind of uh, shots I could get at a later date revisiting because uh, you've got to be very conservative with the, the, the film cameras not just your uh, usual fire off a whole bunch of shots with slightly different compositions you've got to really think it through which is the whole point that's that's exactly the reason I got I got the the, the medium format and that's why I borrowed my dad's 35 as well I feel a wee bit more kind of gun ho with the 35, uh, but um, again, it's it's all about you know knowing how to meter. The Mamiya's got a meter built into the the, the viewfinder prism, which is pretty handy. Um, but you know, I like long exposures. That kind of doesn't come into effect with long exposures because you've got a lot of vari variables going on there. You've got to adjust for a long exposure with uh, with film. It doesn't. It's not a true reading when you when you take a, a meter reading. The Zenit 11 has a light meter in it, but it's a very analog, old fashioned, just a, a swinging dial. You've got to uh, line up with um, with the dials once you've told it, what, or once you've set the, the ISO, it gives you a rough idea there. But I've got an app on my phone as well, which um, allows uh, light metering as well. Uh, so yeah, I've come prepared with all eventuality it's extremely bright i have brought what was the film i brought yeah i brought uh kodak portra 400 both 120 film for the uh, mamiya and 35 mil for the, the zenit um i'm not going to load them up yet i was going to load them up in here but what i might do is i might just kind of have a wonder along and see what it's like and if it is worthwhile loading the films up, I'll pop them in. But as I said, I think it's just going to be a bit of a recce mission today, uh, and maybe come back, maybe come back this evening, um, or later on in the week. We'll see. But yeah, let's head along now and see what the sights and scenes is like around the bay.
I did take a couple of I did take a couple of shots there Two Walked, walked for a while to take two shots It's unheard of, I'd usually take 20 odd shots This is the way you've got to think when you're doing film uh, And even the second shot I was taking I was like, ooh, will I take this? It's very similar So it was just a slight variation of uh, position And I actually went from I think the first one was portrait uh, the next one I went landscape wise uh, there's, there's not too much of a difference but uh, just how to position myself I had to really kind of think of that when I got there the actual lighthouse there was uh, a work van there and there was a guy carrying out some work on the wall it's like, it's an adjoining house it's attached to a lot of lighthouses and they were doing some work there so I had to get low in the grass uh, a bit of long grass there and shoot up to such a, a way that I was masking out hiding the the work van and the work that was getting done on the on the wall by this grass and just above it you you saw you saw obviously the predominance of the the obviously the main focal point being the lighthouse but you also got part of the house as well i, I managed to keep some of that so it, it kind of balanced the image up rather than just this big lighthouse sticking up from the grass middle of nowhere uh but yeah, it's very bright. But I, th I think I might kind of luck out because because the lighthouse is you know it's, it's spherical, it's it's uh, tubular, it's got kind of a, a soft edge. It is harsh light at the moment, but um, I, th I think with the the Portra four hundred uh, and the fall off of the shadow, it's not going to be too extreme. It's going to soften the shadow off quite a wee bit. Uh, hopefully, um, these are the things you know, you'll you'll know before I know type of thing. Uh, because I'd have shown them already. So hopefully it's worked out. Um, and I think I, said, I kind of called that West Barnes Lighthouse. It's not, it's Barnes Nest Lighthouse, which is just in the, the East Coast. This is not too far from uh, Dunbar, North Berwick, that kind of area. Um, and it's a place I've never been before. There's a huge beach there. There's loads of cars, which you might be able to tell from behind me. Uh, quite a popular place. The sun is shining, as I said, it is gorgeous. Um, bit windy. That's why I wasn't talking, because I never took my... Uh, dead cat so I, I was i was too busy trying to find compositions and stuff anyway i was distracted to talk to the camera but uh yeah so a couple of shots there i think the plan now is to head over to um north berwick i might load up some 35 mil and just have a wander around grab a coffee and see uh um, see if there's any shots i can take on the 35 there um just kind of you know run and gun type of stuff it's got it's again it's got a nice kind of seaside feel about it with the sun shining it kind of lends itself pretty well. Again, the 35 mil will be Portra 400 as well. So again, quite forgiving regarding the dynamic range. Uh, it's quite wide in that one. So um, I should I should be able to get away with quite uh, bright shots. And that's the kind of thing I'm looking for anyway. Quite kind of bright, airy, pastely shots. Um, and as I said, that kind of fall off with the shadows. The shadows will be quite extreme at the moment. But I think with the Portra and the fact, I'll, I'll suss out some of the, the, the colours and uh, hopefully that um, heavy contrasty shadow will just kind of fall out quite a bit uh, on the film. All right, so let's head round to North Berwick.